Well, a good Saturday to you. Thanks for finding us here at Fox 26. This is our tropical update. We're here every day of hurricane season. We still have over a month left. If you'll remember, hurricane season lasts all the way through November. I'm meteorologist John Dawson. Yes, we're tracking the tropics and we're going to start on the Pacific side of things because we've been keeping an eye on Christy. If you'll remember, Christy was Nadine over in the Atlantic, moved across the Yucatan Peninsula, roared up into a powerful hurricane over here in the Pacific. And you can see here as we've stopped our satellite imagery with our 4 p.m. update, on on Saturday, things are really beginning to look a less organized and just downright falling apart. To be perfectly honest, the update from the National Hurricane Center 4 p.m. Central Time again. That is we're now down to 65 mile an hour winds. I'm really surprised that they're estimating even that strong because you can notice quickly here uh, as we saw from the satellite imagery, things are falling apart quickly. It's mainly some upper level winds that shearing this apart, kind of tearing it apart and it's happened very quickly and it's going to continue to happen. You'll notice by tomorrow afternoon, we're down to 35 mile an hour wind. So we're really going to fall apart quickly where we are a, a tropical storm. And if they can maintain at least 35 miles an hour winds, then it will still be a tropical storm tomorrow on Sunday at this time. But right now, this powerful hurricane now down to a strong tropical storm, but it is declining quickly and really not even going to make it probably past Monday as we'll uh, lose its tropical characteristics. So uh, I did kind of have that sort of wide view to sort of show you uh, at the beginning of this that her, that Hawaii is sort of out of a scare, not going to be a concern uh, with this system. Now let's get in over the Atlantic. If you've one who keeps updated with things quite often, I'm sure that you've been hurrying this discussions about a tropical system trying to form in the Atlantic, specifically in the Caribbean but not going to be happening over the next several days. So really three to four days for sure, not looking for anything to happen. And just a quick reminder, when we look at the entire month of October, and again, we're about done with October, we're, we're running out of time here. You can see this orange shading shows where we would normally favor to have systems develop during the month of October. And what we also find is that this is probably even shrinking a little bit more in the Atlantic and focuses a little bit more on the Caribbean at this time when we get later in the month, like what we're doing now. But what's also very important to notice, look how we're really kind of getting away from the Gulf of Mexico a little bit in that East Coast. And that's going to have to do with a lot of these upper level winds. That shear that's developing, that's creating problems for Christie is all over the Gulf of Mexico right now. Now, something that does favor development are these very warm waters, 84, 85 degrees. That's continuing to happen in the Caribbean. So you get into these warmer waters like that, you get into some winds that are favorable, and you could certainly see development. It would have trouble, though, making it into the Gulf of Mexico. And so as we take a look at some of our computer modeling, you're going to see that development taking place. This is the time of the year where some of our confidence, especially anything past seven days, is certainly going to be questionable. Uh, things pop around and all of a sudden they're there and then they're gone. Uh, that's going to be the case. And this is our GFS model or the American model. And you'll notice when we start getting towards the end of the week, we're now getting into Thursday, Halloween, maybe seeing a tropical storm form. That certainly looks to show some organization. But the key for us here uh, in most of the U.S., specifically we're in Southeast Texas, but for all of, I know we've got a lot of uh, international uh, viewers as well that check in here and follow us. The, so the Gulf of Mexico region is probably not going to see any activity from this system should it develop. Florida, maybe. Possibly something could happen. Most likely, if something forms here, it's certainly going to be a rain threat and some wind threat to the Caribbean and then probably going to launch out into the Atlantic and not make uh, another landfall outside of the Caribbean uh, if it were to do so. Those fronts are coming in, that upper level wind shear happening in the Gulf, that's keeping things from really making it into the Gulf states. Florida, the exception there because Florida gets Gulf and Atlantic coast, right? So that's what would be, need to be watched here with this system. 
should it develop? Still a lot of question marks, but it does look like overall our models beginning to say, yeah, I think something could be shown up out there, but that's going to be later in the week. Should we see something develop and that that motion would take it out into the Atlantic most likely. So at this point, yes, uh, there is beginning to be some more uh, evidence, some clear signs that something could be developing. It would most likely be towards the end of the week, at least after Wednesday. Uh, and the most likely those threats would be perhaps Florida, but definitely the Caribbean and then heading out uh, into the Atlantic after that would be kind of the general idea. Now, there's not a lot of certainty, to be honest, in all of what I just said about that possible development around Halloween. So we need you to keep checking in. We'll keep you updated. We're here every day, as I mentioned, whether you're on YouTube, which is really one of our primary sources for our international viewers. Again, glad you're here, glad you're watching. Uh, Fox26Houston.com, that's another great way if you wanna go to a website. And of course, don't forget about Fox Local. Even if you're not in the in the uh, the Fox 26 area, the Houston area, you can still use Fox Local across the U.S. And then you can also pick for Fox 26 as your viewing area, and you'll be able to get those updates. That would be a great thing. That's for your smart TV as well as your smartphones. That's also available now for all your devices, basically. So make sure you get checked in and we will plan to see you again here tomorrow with another tropical update.